2020 Best Baking Family Activities Ideas Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide Today I'm going to share with you how my husband and I put together a little haunted mansion I hope that this idea will inspire you to make something similar with your family, okay? So I'm super excited and let's get started Materials that I'm going to use in this project. In the description box below you can find some of the links for these items. you're going to need a lot of royal icing okay I'm going to use the medium consistency royal icing and I tint it in green pink and the natural color okay when I'm going to make gingerbread houses I like my cookie dough very thick so first I start rolling out using these rings and when it is all even I am going to take out the rings and then I'm gonna flatten it a little bit more. now I'm going to cut out the gingerbread house pieces remember to always clean the edges of your cookie For the roof, I am going to use the tiny cookie cutters to make some cutouts. Also, I am going to use tiny cookie cutters to make some designs on the walls of the house. Now is a good time to preheat your oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees. And like these cookies are very fragile because they have so many cutouts, I'm gonna let them dry here on my baking sheets, okay? So I'm not gonna put them in a cooling rack until they're completely cool, okay? Now it's time to add some magic to this gingerbread house. I am going to put a coffee filter in a bowl and then I am going to put the cookie on top so I can recover all the shimmering sugar or sprinkles that don't get stick in my icing. First, I am going to start by outlining all the cutouts that I made on the roofs and also on the walls of the little house. And then I'm going to cover the icing with shimmering sugar or sprinkles. For all the pieces, I did the same technique.
for the facades, I am going to use green medium consistency icing and I'm going to make some little designs and later on I'm going to add a little bit of black shimmering sugar. and the back of the pieces of the house into the roof okay now I am going to add more details using the natural color medium consistency I see that I'm going to make some little ghosts and I'm going to put some little googly eyes if you click the link above there is a very good tutorial on how you can make these eyes cookies completely and then with a little brush I'm gonna sweep away all the sanding sugar and spring and sprinkles okay it's time to put the pieces together if you have someone in your house that can help you this will be very very good and also you will need to be very patient and don't rush this process okay now you can see how we did it and if you can get little things that will help you to support the walls of your little house, it will be very, very good. Our first part is done. Now I'm gonna let dry the icing completely. Now I am going to put one piece of the roof and I'm going to let it dry completely and later on I'm going to put the other piece. Now it's time to put our last piece of the house. Very good, our little house is almost done. We're gonna let it dry again and later on we're gonna put the little chimney and add some other little details. For the little bats, I use a little bit of icing to stick a little toothpick. I really like how the house is looking but I'm going to cover some little imperfections using some magic. And for this, I am going to flip the house very carefully so I can work out better. So I'm going to use the green icing and I'm going to cover all this white icing that I don't like how it looks. So just put a little bit of the sunny sugar. And I'm going to use an edible marker to make some little eyes this little and do you remember the candies that I show you in the beginning so I'm gonna put these little bones in here so this I'm gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna continue with the others very good very carefully I'm going to flip the little house and let all the excess of sugar come down Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side of the house.
Now I am going to stick the chimney here on the top and I am going to stick in the cookie very carefully. Very good. The last part of the project is to put this little door over here. I'm gonna stick it there. Here I have the little door. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. It was a lot of fun. My husband and I, we had a great time putting it together and I'm pretty sure that you and your family are going to have a lot of fun making it. But don't forget that you need to be super patient and one suggestion will be that if you can bake double the pieces, it will be very good because sometimes the cookie crumbles very easily and you will be very frustrated if you don't have an extra piece okay so if you're new here in my channel please please don't forget to subscribe push the notification button follow me on my social media leave me any comment question or suggestion and be super creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating see you until next time take care bye bye